Last week, President Museveni came out and issued new guidelines of how the new academic year will run. Earlier, the Education Minister and First Lady Janet Museveni had earlier communicated that Nasale schools will remain closed until the COVID-19 pandemic is over. Today we spoke to the General Secretary for Uganda National Teachers Union, Phil Bad Baguma, about this issue and noted how government needs to carry out studies from other nations on how to hold classes despite the COVID-19 pandemic. He says government needs to come out with an informed decision of how to have these children not lose education due to the pandemic through studies from other nations. I want to believe we shall have studies from other countries where they have opened, including kindergartens, kindergarten children, uh, the children below six years are not supposed to wear face masks, according to World Health Organization, but they can put on face shields. And therefore, basing on the studies from other countries, where the schools have been reopened fully, then we shall have an informed position and the government will come up to save the situation. Ogma also noted that government has to increase on the education ministry budget in this academic year to facilitate teachers through acquiring more materials like sanitizers, desks, classrooms, among others. The, the new normal guarantees that there must be spending uh, and the, the budget for education must be increased, whether we want it or not, because we didn't have standard operating procedures in place, and now there is a need for them. You must have sanitizer, you must have uh, hand washing facilities, you must have more desks, uh, and therefore you must have more classrooms. That automatically means you need to have more funding for the Ministry of Education and Sports than it used to be. But also, besides increasing on the budget for the education sector, Baguma believes that there is need to recruit more teachers with an aim of filling the gap of those teachers who left the teaching profession for other jobs. Therefore, government will have to recruit more teachers to fill the gap. And of course, even if uh, all teachers were to come back, Still, government would uh, recruit more teachers because of social distancing. They are going to have um, gaps in terms of having teachers to address the gap that has been created by social distancing. Where you had just 120 learners in a classroom, you will not have the same number. And therefore, there will be need to recruit more teachers to fill the gap. He also reminded government on its role to have all her children attain education without leaving anyone outside, saying it has to look for funds to have all children achieve this noble cause. Uh, education for all without leaving any child behind. Children must attain quality education. And therefore, whether they have money or no money, they have to devise means and make sure there is continuity of learning in the country. The issue of money is now up to them to look where to cut, but make sure that education is continuing to take place. The COVID-19 pandemic brought to hold all other businesses among those was education, and government is doing all it can to have it back on cause. Brian Senkumba, Channel 44 Prime News.